Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I'm gonna to talk to you guys about getting everything set up to start programming in C on OS X. So if you're using a Mac, then this video will basically show you how to get everything set up. In order to start working with C, we're actually gonna need two things. The first thing we're gonna need is a text editor. And basically, we're gonna use the text editor to write our C programs in. And you can use any text editor that you want to write C programs but there's actually a special type of text editor which is called an IDE, and it stands for Integrated Development Environment. And it's basically a special environment where we can go to uh, write and run and manage our C programs. So that's the first thing. The second thing we're gonna need is what's called a C compiler. Now C is a programming language, so essentially what we're doing when we're using it is we're writing instructions for the computer. But in C, we're writing instructions that us humans can understand and work with, but in order for the computer to be able to carry them out, they have to be compiled or translated or transformed into a language that the computer can understand. And that's what the C compiler is gonna do. It's gonna take our C programs and essentially just translate them into a language that the computer can understand. So the first thing I'm gonna do is show you guys how to install that compiler and then we'll get a text editor. So what you wanna do on your Mac is go over to the search bar and you're just gonna type in terminal and click enter and a window that looks like this should pop up. Now the terminal is basically a program that allows us to interact with the computer using text commands. So we're actually gonna need to use the terminal uh, in order to do what we wanna do. So first thing we wanna do is check to see if you might already have a C compiler installed. So in certain circumstances, you might already have one. Um, so you just wanna type in CC hyphen V and click enter. And you'll see over here, I have a C compiler installed. So I'm getting all of this information. You can see over here, it says like C Lang, and it's giving me you know, a bunch of information. If you have that, then you have your C compiler installed and you're ready to go. But if you don't have that, I'm gonna show you guys how to get it. So all you wanna do is just type in Xcode, select, and then space hyphen hyphen install and click enter and you'll see I'm getting an error here because I already have these command line tools installed. But if you don't already have them installed and obviously then you wouldn't have that C compiler, then this is gonna go off and install everything you need uh, to get that C compiler working. So uh, once you have run that Xcode select command, just uh, type in CC hyphen V again and you should be getting this version number. All right, so now that we have our C compiler installed, what we wanna do is download an IDE. So we wanna download a special text editor that we can use to write our C programs in. So I'm gonna go over here to my web browser and I'm up here at a website called codeblocks.org. And this is an IDE called Codeblocks. It's one of the most popular free IDEs for programming in C. So we're just gonna come down here to this downloads link and there should be a few options here. Download the binary release, download the source code. We're gonna click download the binary release. And you'll see down here, we have a bunch of options for Windows, Linux, and Mac. Click the Mac option. And if we come down here, you'll see that here is what we need to install code blocks on Mac. So if you go over to the right side here, there's a link to SourceForge where we can download it. So just click that link and it should start downloading automatically. When that finishes downloading, let's head over to our downloads folder. And you'll see here we have our zip file. So I'm just gonna double click on this and this should give us code blocks. Now all you wanna do is just drag and drop code blocks into your applications folder and you're ready to go. So you have code blocks installed and ready to start following along with this course and writing some awesome C programs. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.